Hello everyone, this is Fancha and today I want to talk about a Japanese title. Um, this is actually a surprise to me because I was going to import this game, but actually I didn't have to. The game came all the way to the West, uh, the Garden uh, Western release, and I am talking about Short Piece, Ranko Tsukuhime's Longest Day. This is a collaboration game between Crispy's Inc., which we all know from uh, the famously in the game Tokyo Jungle, which is available on PlayStation Store, and also the director of, uh, or the, rather the designer, the main head of Grasshopper Games, which is Suda51. This game is not only a video game, it's also a collaboration of five anime shorts. They were aired in the cinemas in Japan, but I don't think uh, in my country it will have any effect here. So they are all combined right here. Together with the game, I also received this nice uh, animation booklet, which is very, very thick. As you can see, it has around 200 pages in it. And for being free, it's uh, really nice. Uh, first off, I'm going to talk a little bit about the five uh, anime shorts that are in the game, uh, or rather, besides the game. The first is an anime introduction, and I'm going to show it to you with the book and a small screen right here. It's just, it does not have, uh, really does have a name, it's more uh, just, well, a start to show it off. This is one of the first scenes of it. In this book, there are mainly sketches, but yeah. I'm just going to show you some of the pictures here. Besides this, there are mainly just sketches like I'm going to show you right now, like something like this. How the, uh, how the anime has been drawn, which is very nice to see for once in a while. Uh, the first one is... Yeah, well, just mainly an introduction, is uh, some crazy artwork going on there. The second one is called Possessions. It's about a lone warrior who is traveling through this mystical forest here, which you can see right here as well. And, well, he is being lured to a shrine uh, by some kind of spirits. And there he has to work with some goofy frogs, frog-like creatures. It's not bad, not bad at all. I really did enjoy it. And just to say, uh, this is the main hero here. Well, actually, why am I showing it? You can see it right here. Oh god. The main hero, well, it's a, it's a very unique style uh, of animation. Every anime short has his own visual flair, his own visual style. All the... Um, Anime Shorts has been made by Sunrise, this is a studio in Japan, and yeah, this was the second one that was been shown. They're all very short, I think the, mo uh, the longest one was about 20 minutes long, the shorts in total last for about one hour. The second anime short was called uh, Combustible. Combustible? It's about war, love, and uh, ancient China. There's also a fire brewing there. And this is the main character of it. It's, uh, as you can see, again, a new visual style that has been used there. And yeah, it's, it wasn't bad. Didn't really uh, take me uh, as a whole. The most important impressive one that I find was uh, Gambo. Gambo is about a white bear that you can see right here. And Gambo uh, needs to defend the, his royal family by some uh, kind of, well, from uh, some kind of predator, some kind of red demon, I would say. Not sure if you can see it right here. Yes, of course. This is the demon that tries to kill Gambo and also his family. And yeah, the white bear does not approve of that. Other than that, uh, well, it's it was a little bit of bloodthirsty anime short, but all in all, it's 
really really nice remakes i like the anime style the most of that one and i think i was the least pleased with the last one which was uh, a farewell to weapons i'm just going to do that one there's a lot of um storyboard here of gambo because gambo is a little bit longer it's about 15 minutes long the longest one is a farewell to weapons which is a science fiction uh, type of animation uh, it's about a yeah some kind of squad that needs to battle uh, some kind of robotic tank you could almost say it's just a so, sort of a, a terminator style vibe there because it's also some kind of apocalyptic city as you can see here and yeah so those were the five anime shorts and here's just one more screen showing everything that the animations have to offer with Gambo starring at the front here so yeah very nice booklet that i've gone with it the actual game uh, ranko tsukihimi's longest day is uh, actually a side-scrolling platformer first when i started the game i thought it was some kind of endless runner because you're being chased by some kind of white spirits that you have to shoot away and you have to be as fast as possible to get to the end of the level but when i reached certain levels i saw that there were also some other uh, kind of levels there was a shoot em up type of level and also a how can you call it uh, it reminded me of ice climbers from a nintendo which you have to go all the way up whilst battling some enemies as well but i'm not going to dabble um, about this game any longer i'm just going to show you to it i'm going to be showing you three levels and here we go so we are in the game i only have four options right now i can continue new game select stage or do extras which is just some random artwork that you can find in the game i've completed about five levels so far and there are still five more to be unlocked i actually hope that there are more than 10 in total because as you can see completion times are just like two to three minutes so that would mean there is only about an hour of the game in this and of course I want to search for all the artwork. I could say that this is an endless runner, but it's not really. I am in full control of Ranko. Because yes, I do have to wall jump myself. I also have to jump, uh, float, or just beat up the enemies. And what you saw there on the left was just the the haunting spirits that were chasing me and catching up to me. When you do beat up the enemies, you could see that. Yeah, if I. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'll just do it later on. When I do beat up enemies, you can see that often, well, there are a lot of different colors exploding from them if those colors or objects that come from them hey artwork nice touch another enemy then they will also die uh, that will unleash a chain event like here two chains one chain two chain this is just level uh, i think this is level two or three so it's just very easy here just some random dashes and you can't see her float animation like this as well at least now I'm certain I won't die sometimes it could be that there is a door right in front of you and you do have to fight all of the enemies then before the door will unlock so you will have to be quickly, otherwise then, well yeah, something like that might happen. And I think I'm almost at the end. I do get a big chain, 
then there might become some kind of well, uh, huge rotating gun as you can see. No idea how I use it, it just happens automatically. And yeah, that was level 1. Now I'm going to continue uh, where I left off at level 5. Uh, rather, level 6, sorry. Because this is a little bit different. This uh, could remind you a little bit of Ice Climbers. Have to get up. And also beat up those enemies. Whilst not getting hit by that. God damn it. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, now I'm going up. Oh, and because yeah, the, the game has been in co-development by Suda51, so yeah, the, the story is just fucking crazy. After this battle, I'm going to show you the next cutscene, and then you will see for yourself what the game actually is made of. And although those guys shoot at me, I don't think I can die from those bullets. I've been hit by Countess so far, because yes, it's not my second attempt, it's my uh, fourth or fifth. But I do not seem to get hurt all that often. And that's the only freaking time I die. God damn it. Okay, uh, let's try this once more. And I bet it'll work out now. I have no idea what they're saying. Of course, the, the language is still Japanese, it's just with English uh, subtitles. Which is perfectly uh, good for me. Uh -oh. again. No! Get out of here. Okay, we're going back up. I've planet one hit on day and night. Those are already their names. I have to get three hits in for each of them. Damn it. And when I do get 3 hits in, then the level will be over. Otherwise, it will just go keep on continuing and continuing and continuing. And then there's loop. Okay, 2 hits each. Not bad. That's one down. Now, day still remains. I thought that black eye was nice, low well. Yes, no! Okay, damn it. Come back, land or something, yes! Okay, that was some kind of mini boss. And now I will uh, just be quiet for a little bit. Because now the uh, cutscene will start. ちょっと ちょっと、もう一個だよね。もう一個だよね。ないよ。結構複雑なんだ、うちも。まあいいや。説明は後。そんなことより今はここから逃げなきゃ。あ、ちょっと。何？何なの？これ。
来ちゃったかまあいっかやるにはいい夜だよねランコもう一個これってさ簡単に説明できる状況じゃないってことくらいランコにもわかるでしょそうだねこれが終わったらカラオケ行こうねもう一個テストマジでカラオケ超上がるんですけど、うん、またなんか来たよこの音ランコ乗ってつうか誰私のお兄ちゃん紅のレンよ紅のレンってダッソ早く乗れあ超イケメンああ家で待ってるぞモイコ一緒に母さんのカレー食うまでは絶対死ぬんじゃねえぞ<笑>ここはモエコに任せて生きろよやっぱ全然わからないんですけどオッケー、what the fuck was that all about? That's, that's some huge kind of... Uh... Creature that I just saw, something like Shadow of Colossus style. And now my, I'm on this bike. Oh well, something different, to say the least. And this bike is actually pretty cool. Nice. Danger, danger. Okay. These spirits are a little bit faster here. Oh god. But I do not have to worry about enemies because I just squash them. And just to let you know, I have no idea what the story is all about. It's just that crazy. Kranko is some kind of uh, mercenary, uh, uh, so some kind of bounty hunter. But she's also being hunted as well. And that's about as far as I understand it. Other than that, yeah, I'm just going to finish off this level and afterwards I'm just going to show you what you can uh, receive when you get the bonus items here from end the levels which will be mainly artwork and music and stuff like that I think I'm almost at the end and some other piece of concept art, I love that. Aha! I have reached the exit. Okay, we are back at the beginning of the game, or rather the main menu. So now I'm just going to show off the extras and then I'll be off. Come on. So yeah, you have statistics, not really that important. The game is only single player, so whatever. I can unlock some new costumes for Anko. I have her dress here, Mukul's uniform right now. Not too shabby. And then also Ranko suits, so that's uh, a little bit pervy perhaps. Just going to stick with her usual dress here. And yeah, other than that you can just view cinematics from in the game or just view concept art. I'm still lacking some of the pieces, but oh well. And yeah, that's Ranko Tsukihime's longest day. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. I will definitely be doing more Japanese games in the future. Maybe also just games that really have a Japanese vibe to it as well. And other than that, what more can I see than thank you for watching and have a great day.